Good morning, Tim from Alpha Wool Trading coming at you with this morning's pre-market prep, free Friday. Uh, hope everyone had a fantastic week. Nice week in the markets, up six days in a row. Um, not a big shocker if we were to take a pause here after a six day run heading into the weekend. Oil and energy, definitely one of the leading sectors out there along with small caps, which are at an area of potential price resistance. Um, solar's kind of keeping an eye on that space this week after California's uh, announcement of new for new homes, solar panels on new homes. Uh, SFUN is got a pretty good looking setup on the daily time frame. Now it is overbought in the short term, but uh, potential flat top breakout here and at an area of price resistance, uh, look for a break with some volume over basically the 550 area. Uh, this could get interesting. It's worth keeping an eye on this for a day trading opportunity or maybe a, a, a swing consideration on a pullback to say $4.50 area. We've kind of seemed to be bouncing around within this channel. So you're looking for a potentially breakout of the channel, flat top breakout, or a potential swing opportunity on a pullback to 454. Don't know where these guys report earnings. We have had a couple of uh, solar companies report recently, VSLR, but there's a couple of names in this space that look interesting. Uh, FSLR just got an upgrade the other day. SUNW, another one to keep an eye on. A uh, little small stock um, run. I mean, there's several names within the space. Take a look at the sector. But I thought this one was kind of interesting. I thought I'd point it out. Uh, SN, Sanchez Energy, you know, oil and energy has been a, a pretty hot sector. SN was a former uh, runner. It can tend to be a pop and flopper, but it did get a little pop yesterday and broke over this longer term trend line. Looking for a four test and roll. Maybe get uh, a test up to the 200 day around $4.40. That could have resistance, but that's a pretty decent move from where it sits. Maybe looking for a red to green move on SN, at least worth having on the radar. Uh, UTSI reported earnings, and this is a thin one. Um, it isn't doing really anything in pre market, but it does have kind of an interesting look on the daily time frame. It, you know, it's been uh, actually stair stepping down a little bit, but it's got a really kind of an interesting pattern here. Looks like 450 could be acting as an area of price support, 460, 450. Stochastic starting to curl up. The issue here, it doesn't trade a lot of volume. Traded 68,000 shares yesterday. Get some kind of a volume pop, maybe take out this 50 day moving average and this trend line could get pretty interesting, right? So looking maybe for a pop up into the 535 area, we've got some price resistance there. Uh, maybe even get a six test, right? If uh, if this gets any kind of real volume. So just worth keeping an eye on that one and only look to play it if if you get some significant volume to be able to, and some liquidity, right? That's what we're looking for, a little bit of liquidity there. MOSY reported earnings and gapping. Now this one gapped up to about $2.38. And if we take a look, uh, actually we've got really good support, resistance support right here in the 210 area. Uh, 235, let's see where that puts us. You know, so we've got some potential resistance there at around 250 as well. Uh, you know, I think maybe this one, you look for a pullback to 210, right? And 210, two bucks, right? And then uh, look for a, a red to green move, maybe a test up into that 250 area, right? So <clears throat> look for volume. This one has uh, got traded 1.1 million shares. It's only got 7.2 million shares in the float, but it has had a tendency to pop and flop. So don't chase, look for a good clean setup, look for some volume. Uh, could be an interesting day trading opportunity there. Maybe even a higher risk swing if you get a pullback to say the 175 area and see if that holds a support for a bounce. Uh, TTD 
recent IPO reported earnings and they crushed it. And this one is going up and testing all time highs. So let me make sure that I'm accurate here. Yeah, all time highs, 66 and change. Um, you take that out, we're in blue sky territory. All right, so maybe you look for a red to green on this one. Oh, actually, we've already taken it out. $68. It's taken out at $68.35. Um, so now you're in blue sky territory. You know, maybe what we look for is a pullback into the 65 area, 64 area, 60, $60. Nice round number. Um, maybe look for a red to green move on this one as well. This has only got 27.3 million shares in the float small float but it was a good beat good good guide so could see some follow through in ttd clme and we actually missed the opportunity in this one of the one of the uh members in the chat room actually pointed this out when it was consolidating nicely and uh broke out and it's um, had some it had earnings last night let me see what it's doing in pre-market here it's already had a, a decent move right so I uh, got up to about two dollars and 24 cents we're at an area of price resistance I think maybe on a pullback to a buck 90 this could get interesting buck 90 buck 80 somewhere in that area uh, could be a higher risk uh, swing it's 135 million shares in the float a little bit thicker but um, don't chase this one. Like I said, this can tend to be a pop and flopper at times. They have a lot of debt. Uh, but on a pullback to the 190 area or maybe to the 200 day at two bucks, right? You look at $2 to hold the support. Could be a little scalp opportunity if it's got some volume, some liquidity. Could be a higher risk swing or long term hold consideration on CLNE. A R R Y, you know, it just bounced off the 200 day moving average, uh, taking out the $14 holla. I love round number rolls. It looks like we're going to test 15 here. Now, this is a biotech. It could be, look, if, if biotechs and healthcare get hit today because of, you know, the, the Trump speech, then this play may be a difficult one to take. But uh, could be looking at a pullback to say $14, $13.50, somewhere in that area. See if it holds support for a bounce, a little red to green action. Maybe you get a test up to the 50-day moving average right around $15.67 or so. And let me make sure, yeah, it's not doing anything in pre-market, but I think it's worth keeping an eye on. Now, this is a little bit thicker as well, 146 million shares in the float, but worth keeping an eye on. Uh, let's take a look at, hold on a second here. See what else I've got going on. OZ, TTD. Okay, AKCA had some news this morning. Uh, that one is, uh, let's see, gapping up a little bit this morning here. Small float, 10 million shares in the float. Let me see where exactly we are in pre market here. Okay, got up to 24.75. It's pulled back to 23, uh, which puts us right here at this area of price resistance, right? So right here, what uh, was acting as resistance currently now is acting as support. So could be an interesting spot to bounce from. Uh, worth having on the radar. This is a small float, like I said. Not sure what their debt. Uh, situation looks like or their cash position they may need to look to raise capital but uh, check that out and this one could be worth watching for a day trading opportunity uh, there let's see see uh, CC this had a nice pop yesterday it's coming up into the 200 day maybe look for a red to green on this one a pull back into the to the 525 530 area and then maybe we get a test of this 200 day moving average. It's got 26 million shares in the float traded almost a million shares yesterday. So there was some liquidity there. This one could be worth keeping an eye on for a uh, red to green uh, day trade opportunity. 
Q-U-R-E. I'm going to end it with this one. Really good looking setup on the daily. Another biotech though uh, that could have difficulty if uh, the market doesn't like the speech from Trump. Um, you know, this is testing the $33 holla. Or, or th actually, let's put it this way. It's testing 32. It's testing all time highs, right? Maybe look for a red to green. Take out 30, 3250 with volume. This thing could get a nice little pop. It's been consolidating. Worth keeping an eye on Q-U-R-E for a break. And let me just see if I've got anything else here on my list. Looks like that's pretty much it. Um, Going to go ahead and wrap it. Good luck trading today. Don't chase. Always have a plan. Know your risk reward. Uh, if you're interested in checking us out, come join us today. Open mic chat free all day long. Uh, link is on the blog, so come check us out. All right, good luck trading today, and I'll see you all next week.